Hello everyone, it's Nadie, and today we're testing out the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. Oh, my little deep fried elephant ears. How y'all doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a spectacular day so far. I myself am doing wonderful because I have wanted to buy this for so freaking long. This is definitely an Instagram made me buy it moment. I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know anything about their products, but I keep seeing on Instagram this beautiful mature skinned model using this and she just is glowing. She makes beauty look effortless. Being a person whose skin literally changes every fucking day, like sometimes it'll be dry, sometimes Sometimes it won't be. Sometimes I'll have wrinkles. Sometimes it'll be sagging. Sometimes it'll be tighter than my hoo-ha, which I will note is not sagging. My skin just makes finding a product that works with all of my versions of me a little bit difficult. So when I saw a person probably twice my age using this and looking so freaking great, I had to have it. Granted, I think I did end up following the model and she looks great barefaced, but still, I wanted this. What makes this so special? I don't freaking know. And don't even ask me how much this was because I don't remember. Not only was this an Instagram made me buy it. This was a lady sativa made me buy it. Damn, I open up Instagram and the first thing I get is a bulge pick. These men who were like angels before the quarantine are now in like the top 1% on OnlyFans. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Look at her. Is she not stunning? Like everything about her is goals AF. Hopefully that's not too dark and you can see, but like look how naturally stunning she looks. God, I want that. Her name is Regina Burton if anybody wants to follow her on the gram. But before I open this up and make sure that we actually have a color match. Probably should have done that before. Let's hop onto their website. It looks like this retails for 54 bucks. How much do you get in here? God damn, that is a price right there. This is the standard one fluid ounce. It looks like it has aloe, mastic, and squalene. But the box says this is a clean, fragrance-free, skincare-powered foundation that delivers light to medium, buildable coverage with a smooth, luminous finish. This weightless serum blurs infection. My god, I almost said it blurs infections. It blurs imperfections and melts into the skin. The mastic, squalene, aloe, rose hip and jojoba oil leaves skin refined, hydrated, and smooth over time. Shake well before use, one pump for light coverage, two for medium, apply like a serum and finish by pressing into the skin for more precision, pair with a complexion brush. Okay, it doesn't really sound too liquidy and oh, the color might actually be good. It might be a little bit too dark though. What color did I get? This is SF3 and they are kind of lacking in the shade department. This only has 18 shades. However, it does go very, very light and it does go pretty deep. There are a few shades to choose in between this. So if you do end up liking the way that this looks, you might be able to mix some. I probably should have gotten the shade right before this 1.5, but I ordered this right the fuck after I was in the sun and I thought maybe it'd still match me. It doesn't, whatever, we'll make it work. And they really do emphasize shaking this well. So I'm just gonna be here giving it a handy, Jay. Just kidding, it's been a while, but I hope that's not how people are doing it these days. Start a damn dick fire. I think on half of my face, why don't I try it with this brush? I just got this, this is from Eloise. It's one of those brushes where like nothing is supposed to get sucked up into it. <laughs> Giggity. And if Run, run, run. And if this doesn't make it look good, I'll use nature's best tools, the titties. No, I'm just kidding, the fingers. Oh fuck no, I clicked how to use on their website and they do say to use a serum primer. I don't have one of those, but let me go in with the Elemis Superfood Glowing Priming Moisturizer. Maybe that'll go good with this. If it doesn't, I'll wipe it off and we can try something different. Eh, eh, mm. Oh God, this smells so good. It makes me want to like go on a picnic in a bed of flowers. Mm. All right, that is now dried down. So let's go in with a little bit of this. They say one to two pumps. So I guess since we're going on half of our face first, let's do one pump. Oh, come on, baby, come on. <laughs> Ooh, that is a beautiful consistency. It's not too runny, it's not too thick. It's like the perfect porridge in the little bears. Okay, here we go. Let's start with it down here. <gasps> oh, this color might be okay-ish. It's a little bit yellow and orangey though. Mm, something smells very natural. Okay. Well, that just like disappeared. This brush is cute, but let's try this with our hands because that's not quite doing anything for me. There we go. It's really pretty to look at. I know that's weird to say about a foundation, but it's so damn smooth. Okay, so let's take this everywhere and I'm gonna go in like a moisturizer with this. Oh God, this feels so weird. I am not used to applying foundations like this. The only mirror I have is a hand mirror that I can't hold and my monitor way over there. So I'll just have to go based on your opinion. How do we look? Do we like it? Give me a second. Well, just just looking in the monitor, at least from what I can tell, I do look a little bit yellow, but the color isn't too terrible. Oh God, let me wipe these bitches down. And, ooh, 
Okay, so a few different things are happening for sure. First off, it does really want to catch around my acne bits and it didn't really do that good of a job of covering it. And it doesn't seem to love my facial hair. It's not too bad in it, but some foundations just don't fuck with beards. But you can get foundations that actually do look good in like a five o'clock shadow. This probably isn't one of them. However, Everywhere else on my face, other than right there, I think this looks really, really pretty on. Like, this is exactly what they said. Very light coverage with the first layer, but I don't mind how this looks. Get a little bit closer, shall we? What do you think? Do we like it? Do we dislike it? I do think it looks very natural. It didn't really cover up anything under there, which I don't expect it to. But it does kind of make me worried about anybody who might have dry skin. I'm not sure if maybe I should exfoliate more, although I am to the point where if I do exfoliate more, my skin will be fucking raw. But I do really like like the way this looks, although around my nose right there, again, where the dryish areas are, I don't know that I love this. I think just for shits and giggles and to really press this into my skin, I'm gonna take one or two more little pumps right on this brush. Even though this isn't supposed to suck anything up, I think it did suck up quite a bit of the product, but I just wanna see how much we can build this up. Ah, uh, fuck, you know what? I think this brush is actually taking off that base layer that I had on. Let me just tap this in with my fingers and maybe the heat from my hands will kind of remelt it to distribute it. If not, we can always start over. I think it does look pretty good, but I'm not really convinced that it's worth the price. I I do like the idea of no makeup makeup foundations. I've more recently got into the super light coverage foundations, which I know, who the fuck am I turning into? But maybe if my beard were trimmed a little bit shorter and I just put like maybe one or two pumps on my face with my hands, I would totally fuck with this like every day. And the skincare part is probably for me what would make this worth the price. Because the coverage alone, the finish, that doesn't really do it for me. I can get so many good drugstore BB creams or foundations that look the exact same. But even like the color isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and pull up the matchometer while we're here. What do we think? I kind of feel like it's a little bit off because now in person, it almost looks a little bit gray and too light for me. But in the bottle, it looked like it was gonna be too yellow and too dark for me. So I don't know. Y'all probably see something different, but in person, I would probably give this maybe like a seven. I think my face looks a little bit washed out and more red than my neck here. But I don't think it's so obvious that if I wore this out in public, anybody would really notice. So I'm okay with like a seven, seven and a half. But looking up close, what do you think? Everywhere except for around my nose and my little dry spot, I think looks really, really good. It's not adding texture. I mean, it's not really adding much of anything except a nice clean base. It looks very natural. I can still see my freckles underneath, but it just makes me look like I eat a few more fruits and veggies than I probably do. Maybe take a few more jogs than I do. And I feel like the area around my nose, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of crusty there. That's probably something that I could work with fine. Like maybe if I did one of those nose peels, it'd probably be okay. But this is with two layers on, so this is probably the most coverage that I'd get out of this. And for like no makeup makeup days, everyday kind of wear, this is fine for me. But I think if I were going glam, I don't know that I'd use this product. Or maybe I'd rely more on the Consquealer to really cover things up for me. Which is kind of what I'm going to do today because I am filming a few videos. And for one of them, I do want to be somewhat glam. But I don't really want like the cake face full coverage kind of glam. So let's go in lightly with some Marc Jacobs Extra Shot and see how these play together. And... And I think these actually do seem to play pretty nicely together. Sometimes when I use these more serum-y products, it really busts up my concealer, but this is doing great. And this brand does have concealers. I'm pretty sure she used it in the video. But once again, they do have very limited shades. And the only shade that I probably could have rocked without either looking like a ghost or having it be a contour color, that shade was completely sold out. So I didn't bother getting any, but honestly, this looks beautiful together. Like I totally take back saying that you probably couldn't do glam with this because I actually think you could. A very natural glam, but with these two products combined, I am getting decent coverage. But still, you can see enough of my skin underneath where it doesn't look like I have a fuck ton of makeup on. So yes, how do we look? I really love the both of these together. Like, fuck, there is a little bit of a color difference. Like the highlight, it's dramatic, but also that's my favorite concealer, so I'll use it with anything. But before I really crease the hell up, I'm gonna set everything with a little bit of setting powder. And that looks nice, but again, we have the really, really dry pack patches around there. Nothing is really covering that red bit up. So let me quick give everything a little bit of a set with some Gerard Cosmetics setting spray. Hold on, I gotta dry this in front of the fan. Ooh. All right, that's better. And um, no, it's still dry, but it's just on my nose and it's just right there. So if you're going to use this and you have dry skin, really fucking moisturize and really exfoliate before you use this. But if you don't have dry patches, I think this looks bomb diggity, bitch. Like it does indeed look like second skin. I probably should have 
have set this a little bit sooner because it did kind of creep a little bit into my forehead wrinkles, but it's not terrible. But for the most part, doesn't that look beautiful? It's like your skin, but better. However, I'm still not super convinced that this is worth $54. Only because when I use like the Maybelline Fit Me and use the same powder and spray, it looks just as good as this, if not a little bit better. But then again, it doesn't have the same skincare as this has. And so it's kind of worth it, but it isn't. Oh my God, I keep going back and forth. I'm sorry. Also, my under eyes are really creasing. So I'm going to take a little bit of extra powder right under there. Oh my God, if only all life's problems were that easy to fix, I would save so much in therapy. But my loves, what do we think? Does it look good? Does it look bad? Definitely let me know down in the comments below and make sure your resolution is set to 4K. We film in 4K so that you can see every damn detail of my face. But I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face, do my little eye look, and I will see you in just a second at the end of the day. And we are back. It is the end of the day. Remember how I said I was just going to keep it light and simple for an eye look? <laughs> it's only been maybe like four hours, but I just looked in the mirror and I'm actually starting to notice a good bit of wear and tear on this makeup. I will say the contour and everything is really, really helping this makeup because before I added the blush and whatnot, it was starting to fade dramatically. My forehead is a wrinkly mess. It's almost kind of like dry and pilly. It's kind of like this foundation went from super hydrating to like sucking everything out of my skin, but that's only happened within maybe the last like half hour to 45 minutes. So for a few hours, this was pretty decent. It might not look quite as bad to you as it does to me, but in person, it looks like I've been wearing this for maybe like eight to 12 hours. It doesn't look like it's only been on my skin for a short time. So if you're going to wear this, I would probably stick to only using very moisturizing, hydrating, glowy products and maybe even cream products, which I think is what the model only used in her video. I think she used a setting powder in the end, but this foundation isn't something that you'd really pair with this kind of a look, which I did kind of figure I wasn't really expecting this whole eye look, but accidents happen. I mean, if they didn't, I wouldn't be here. No, but on its own, I did really think this was good. And with the one pump on my face, it was very light coverage, but it was still really pretty. And then even with the two pumps, I still thought it was pretty. I think this is more of a minimal makeup foundation, like a touch of blush, a touch of concealer, maybe some liquid bronzer. Do they make that? And if you use this with dry skin, I do think you're going to have to really prep your skin for it. You might even need to use their own serum primer, but I did use a moisturizing primer. And even with that, it wasn't quite enough. But do I dislike this foundation? I don't if you're going for that natural look. If you want anything more than a BB cream, you're not going to like this at all. And really the only way that I can justify the price is because it is so skincare friendly as well. Like if this were just a foundation, I'd say no, fuck this. But because there's some sort of like healing that your skin is doing at the same time as wearing it, I do kind of like it. Again, not my favorite, but it is okay. And I do really like that it plays so freaking nicely with other cream products like that concealer. Not every foundation likes that concealer, but the moment these bitches touch, they just got it on like freaking Donkey Kong. I think that other than little minor flaws like that, my nose, this does look good. So my loves, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And if you'd like to support me and my channel a little bit more, please feel free to join us over on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplix. There you get videos a day early. You get Patreon only content. Plus best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including black ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let them know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Lady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.